Hello, this is Black, and this is my series on ACE, an introduction to how it works in general. This is the first video in a series of a lot that I plan to create, and I will go through the UI and the UI settings. Now, in standard um, ACE, without any changes, the UI will look like this. So these are my interactions with myself, and I will move my mouse around to select the different things for medical, for team management, equipment, etc. Now, this is one that I do not prefer. It's quite wonky as how you must look up and down and run about. If you crouch and you're already looking down, for example, you've got to look up here and look up here. Sometimes the list goes on and on and on, which gets quite, quite painful. The same with how you interact with others. It goes around like this. And you might be able to imagine the issues that might come out of this. Now, if you go ahead and press escape, up in the top left corner there is a Ace Options menu. Under the Interaction menu there are many options for colors and everything, but I will go through the Interaction menu. You can now display a cursor, which makes it static. So you are no longer moving your camera, you are just moving a cursor, which makes things slightly easy. Come over here, and it is still the same way. You have to move your, uh, your face about. Go back to the Ace menu, select the Interaction menu. You can go ahead and always display cursor and Interaction. And so, when you're standing next to them, the cursor will show. You will not be able to move your camera, so let's say I'm looking at this guy, he's wounded, and I need to check his leg, I will have to stop the interaction, look down, and then select it. However, I feel this is easier because you don't have to look around inside of a building, etc., and twist yourself around to make, you know, being able to interact with people. The next step, we have lists which displays interaction as list now this makes it even easier just puts them into lists instead of circles just make everything a lot easier come over here left down there we go instead of a circle around it that blends into other icons sometimes if this person was crouching and covering a corner outside of a door or something and i wanted to check his arm and I was in this position or something. We'll go here and then, you know, things blend into each other too easily. But with the lists, it doesn't do that too much. Other than that, which is, this is my preference, using it like this. When it comes to key bindings in Ace 3, you will have to go to Configure, Controls, and Configure Add-ons. If you have any mods that require any key bindings, usually they will be under here. And the same with Ace 3. There are a lot and a lot of keys you can bind and will need to use for different things. And this is a very handy menu to change them. This was an introduction to the Ace 3 interaction system. And I will go over, as I said earlier, everything else that has to do with Ace. There will be links in the description down below. And if you have any requests, send them my way. I will happily be obliged to show you and teach you how to do them. See you around, have a good day, good luck on the battlefield.